Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Lopez, your music teacher. Today, I'm going to treat you to one of the best websites of all time. We are going to get a Quaver account. Quaver is a magical musical world. It has all the lessons and the songs and the rhythms and the beats and the instruments that you would ever want. Here at school, we are using Quaver to learn our lessons. I want you to have that same exact experience. So here we go. Here are the things that you're going to need. On the seesaw information at the very beginning, when you clicked on this uh, link, there was a list of teachers and a list of codes. What you need to do, if you didn't already do it, press pause in a second, you're going to go back to that seesaw information where the instructions are. You're going to search for your teacher's name, and then you are going to find the code that is next to your teacher's name. Take a pen and write down that code. Also, you are going to need your student ID number. Usually, it's a five a five number code, you are going to add a zero to the front of that. Your student ID is also your lunch number. If for some strange reason you cannot find it or don't have it, it's okay. I'm going to want you to write your first name dot last name. How about that? Okay, so what you're going to get is your class code and your student ID number. Please press pause so you can get those things. Well, looks like you're back. Here we go. Everybody, go up to the address bar first, and you're gonna type in www.quaver.ed.com. That's www.quaver.com. Let's press enter. I am going to do this for the very first time. So I'm going to come over to the right and go to the sign up button. Click sign up. Welcome. Are you a teacher or a student? Well, technically, I'm a teacher, but today, I'm going to log in as a student. Enter your class code below. Hmm. Remember, I told you to write that one down. So let's go and look. My class code is different than yours. Please do not write what I write. You have your own class code. And then you will type it in where it says class code. And then press continue. Username. This is where you type in a zero plus your lunch number. It's the same thing as your student ID or your zero plus your student ID. If you truly cannot find it anywhere in your whole life, it may be okay for you to do first dot last name. I just don't want you to have to do that a million times because every time you come to Quaver Ed, you're going to have to type in your username, and that's a lot of letters. So see if you can find that. I'm going to type in mine. You don't type this one in. Password. We will all use the same password. And here's what it is. Zero, 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 zero. How many zeros? Eight. All right. Zero, 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 zero. Okay. Then I have to confirm it. What is my password? Zero, 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 zero. So if somebody asks me by email, Mrs. Lopez, I have forgotten my password. Can you help me find it? I'll say, of course. Here's what it is. 
zero, 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 zero. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then press submit. Ta-da! Here we go. Save password? Hmm, sure, if you want to. Now, this is the student dashboard. Notice that my number is right here. That is not going to be your number. Your number is for you, and that's it. You may have to enter your name um, at one point. You will do that so that I will know that it's you. Okie doke. You notice that this assignment part is grayed out. That's because there's no assignments for you yet. This is my favorite part. When we go to Quaver Street, yep, I'm going. Here we go. On Quaver Street, there's so many places and things to do. <gasps> I can go in here. You can play with anything in here. You can play with the little heads. You can go into the lab. You can play, and play, and play. You can paint with a songbrush. You can go into the studio. But for now, I'm going to go back out to Quaver Street. All right. Watch this. I clicked on my avatar. Now that doesn't look like me, I don't think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my avatar. Let's go to features. Eyes. I have eyes. Ooh, look at all those. There's hardly anything that's free. Let's see. I guess, oh, I want some sad eyes. I'll put those on. Do you see all these? It doesn't cost money. It costs points. How do you get points, you ask? By playing on Quaver. Playing games, getting things right, making sure that everything is perfect. That's how you win. Well, it doesn't, still doesn't look like me, but that's okay. I'll do that at a different time when I have my own time. Then all you have to do is log out. Easy. So what I want you to do for your assignment for this week is this. When you go back to Seesaw after this video, you are going to go to the template. I need to know what your username is. Your username, like I said, should be a zero followed by your lunch number or your student ID number. It's the same thing. Then password. I bet I can guess your password. Zero, 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 zero. I need those two things on that template and you my darling will make a hundred if you click the green check have a wonderful day thank you and i hope you have a wonderful musical world of quaver ahead of you see you later